Now, what we're looking at now is an XY graph of the deployment over those few seconds. Uh, basically, you have your, your time axis here. As you can see, it, we launched it at 1026, and uh, we offloaded it at 1027. The black solid line is the temperature. Again, it didn't change very much over that very short deployment. The blue is the relative humidity, and you can see that was changing, although not very much. If you looked at look at the um, the scale factor, it's only between 40 and 40.7, so it really didn't change a whole lot. One thing that Hoboware does is it will automatically scale your data to what it thinks is the best resolution for your application, and I will show you how to change that in a moment. The dotted line is the dew point calculation, and that was calculated from the temp and the relative humidity. So you have basically three quadrants in the readout uh, screen. The first quadrant is uh, looks very similar to an Excel spreadsheet, and you can view that by doing this. And again, each one of these is a time and date stamped data point. Again, we were logging once a second, so you can see 10, 20, 6, 0, 8, 0, 9, 10, etc. And then each at each logging interval, these were the values that we recorded. So some people find this very useful in this particular uh, layout. You can also export this uh, into Excel and we'll do that a little later. The other quadrant is of course the XY graph which is by default um, uh, comes up with this uh, preference set. There are preferences that can be set in the software to get different types of displays, although these are really the three. Uh, or the two, I should say, for the value for the values of the uh, log data. The other quadrant is the details pane, and what this does is it allows you to look at the data for the logger, for the deployment, and for the and the statistics of this of the series. So the logger info is really the same for each series. It gives you the model number, the serial number, the version of the firmware, our manufacturer's name. The, the amount of memory and when the header was created or when it was originally uh, put together. The deployment info gives you information about our deployment that we just created. Tells you what was uh, for this particular series, for temperature series it says it's a 10k thermistor. Uh, the description is what we put in, the number of deployments the logger has had over its lifetime, when we launched it, uh, the interval, etc. This is very info, uh, interesting and good information uh, from a historical background. And the statistics gives, gives you some information about when the first sample was made, how many samples were taken, uh, what the maximum value, minimum value, and average was, and what the standard deviation was. Again, very, very useful for some applications. There are some uh, further graphing capabilities that Hoboware uh, allows us um, that may be interesting uh, to discuss at this point. Um, because this is such a short and small graph, what I'd like to do is close this plot and open up a historical plot that has several days worth of data on it. So with your permission, I will do that now. I will close this plot. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's close this plot. And we're going to open up a different plot. Now this plot was um, taken over several days with the same logger, so you'll see the same deployment name and part number, etc. Again, this is the plot window. Um, we're going to look at temperature and relative humidity only this time, and we're going to uh, not look at events and plot it.